Hello, in this video we're going to talk about basic string comparison in JavaScript. So um, let's write use strict here and I'll have a string. Let's write text equals cat. So we can check if um, two strings are equal with equals equals. So let's write console.log and um, text equals equals cat. So these, these two strings are equal. So this equality test operator here should return true. Let's maybe put this in a, um, a kind of a comment. We'll just output this text so that we know what we've done here. Then if I run this, so node and comparing strings.js, we see that this uh, indicates that the two strings are the same by returning true or by evaluating to true. We can also use the slightly longer version of this operator. Uh, so this that's the equality test operator. This is the identity test operator. What's the difference? Well, we'll look at that in the next video. But um, in a nutshell, basically, you probably, some people think that you shouldn't use this uh, short version. Um, it's kind of a, an older um, feature of JavaScript here, this equals equals. And some people call it the evil twin of the identity test operator. So if in doubt, use the longer versions. So if you run this now, um, again, that says they're, they're the same. It returns true. We've got not equals as well. So we've got that also works with strings, just as you'd expect. So is it true that this text, which contains the word cat, is not equal to cat? That's, uh, that's going to be false in, in all of these cases. Not equal, and it, um, it's false that it's not equal. It's false that it's not identical. It is identical. It is equal. Now, surprisingly, we can also use... Um, less than or equal to with, str with strings. So uh, we can write text, for example, this variable text, uh, less than dog. Is that true or is it false? Let's maybe just put this in a comment as well. Not exactly a comment, but just some text to remind us of what we're doing here. Well, um, this is actually going to uh, evaluate to true because um, it just checks the alphabetical ordering of, of the strings involved. So cat sorts earlier in the alphabet in the alphabet than dog because it begins with a C. So um, if you think about the ordering of it, it's true that cat is less than dog. So if I run this now, it's not a comment on cats or dogs, but it says true cat is uh, is less than dog in the alphabetical sense. So, of course, you can use greater than, you can use greater than or equal to with strings as well. Let's just check that. So I could write um, text greater than or equal to dog. Is it true or is it false? Well, cat is, it sorts earlier in the alphabet than dog, so that's going to be false. What else? I think I think that's probably it. Less than, greater than. Notice that the um, less than or greater than are are sort of case sensitive. So um, here we've got. Yeah, let's let's try comparing uh, cat with cat with a capital C or dog maybe. Let's write dog with a capital D. And I'll just replace the text. In this string here as well. Uh, so is, is this true or false that dog is greater than or equal to dog? It's false I think because um, uh, in the character set that we're using here, Unicode character set, capital letters are actually ordered earlier than lowercase letters. So I think this is false. Let's just try it. Yeah, false. Um, so dog 
is not greater than or equal to dog with a lowercase d. All right, um, that's it for this video. Um, th there are other ways to compare strings as well, but uh, most of the time these operators will, will do the trick for you. So until next time, oh yeah, if you're a beginner, the important thing is, uh, I'll just say it again, you've got to just try this out for yourself. Try them all out and make sure you understand them. And uh, pretty soon we're going to get on to practically using them with loops and conditionals. These are, we're still working at the moment with the absolute nuts and bolts, the real building blocks of programming languages. So until next time, happy coding.